I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to solve equations which involve E and natural log ln. We have four questions here. A. E to the power of 2 minus x equals to 3. E to the power of x square equals to e to the power of 4x minus 3. And natural log ln of 1 plus square root x equals to 2. Natural log ln of x square minus 3 equals to ln 2 plus ln x. Now to solve these questions we are going to use some basic properties. Uh, one of them which will help us to solve the first one is kind of like this. If I have e to the power of x equals to some constant b in that case if I take ln e to the power of x on both the sides then we can isolate x and we can write this as x ln e equals to ln of b so ln e is just one since they are inverse of one another so we get x equals to ln b so that is kind of a general solution for equations shown here the second equation both bases are same so we could equate the exponents in the third equation, it is something like this. If I have ln x equals to, let us say some number k, a constant, then x should be equals to e to the power of k, correct? So that is how you could solve the uh, questions like one we have in C, right? Now in the third one, we may have to use some properties of logarithms. And the property which we are going to use is something like this. That is um, ln a minus ln b could be written as ln a over b, right? Now, these are the properties which we'll be using to solve these equations. Also, remember that for natural law, we have restrictions. So, you need to take care of restrictions while writing answers. So restrictions are that if we are talking about ln x, then x has to be greater than 0, right? Now let's see how to solve each one of these questions one by one. I hope the basic concept is clear. So let's begin with the very first one. e to the power of 2 minus x equals to 3. So let's take natural log both sides, right? So take ln both sides. So if I do that, I get ln e to the power of 2 minus x equals to ln 3. Now that gives you 2 minus x of ln e equals to ln 3. Now ln e is 1, so we get 2 minus x equals to ln 3. Taking x to the right side, we get 2 minus ln 3 equals to x, correct? So I'm not using calculator to find the value of ln3, but you can always use calculator and get some decimal answers. But this is the exact solution, right? So for the first one, we get x equals to 2 minus ln3, okay? So that is the first solution. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now let's do the next question. e to the power of x squared equals to e to the power of 4x minus 3. So since the bases are same, it means x squared should be equals to 4x minus 3. Now this is a quadratic equation. You can bring all the terms together. You get x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. This could be factored. So 3 times 1, both negative if you take, you get sum as minus 4 and the product will be 3, right? E equals to 0. So that gives you two solutions, x equals to 3 and x equals to 1. So we have two solutions here. So for this equation, we have x equals to 3 and x equals to 1, correct? Now we'll take up the question based on natural law. ln of 1 plus square root x is equal to 2. 
Now, in these questions, you should know the domain of this particular question. So, it is 1 plus square root of x. Now, here, this thing should be greater than 0. So, but square root of x itself gives you a restriction that x should be greater than 0. You get my point. So, the basic restriction here is, if you compare the two, that x should be greater than 0, right? So, that is the restrictions. So, remember to note the restrictions even before you start solving the question. Now, let's try to solve the question. So, let me rewrite this. We have ln 1 plus square root of x equals to 2. So, this could be written in exponential form as 1 plus square root of x equals to e to the power of 2. So, from here, we get square root of x equals to e squared minus 1. And to get the value of x, we'll square both sides. So, when you square, you get e squared minus 1 whole square. Correct? Now, this is a positive quantity. e squared is greater than 1. So, therefore, squaring is uh, perfectly fine. You get a number which is definitely more than 0, right? So, we, what we get here is e to the power of 4, just expand this, times 2ab, which is minus 2e square, and square of 1, which is plus 1. So, that becomes the solution of this particular equation, right? So, here we get a solution, which is x is equals to e to the power of 4 minus 2e square plus 1. Now, let's look into the next question, which is the last question of our video. We have ln x square minus 3 equals to ln 2 plus ln x. Now, let's look into the restrictions part before we begin to solve. So, one of the restrictions here is that x square minus 3 should be greater than 0. That means what? Well, what you could also do is sketch a graph here. I mean, algebraic methods are good, but this is very simple and fast. So, what you note here is that x square minus 3 is positive in these intervals, right? Where this is square root of 3. Perfect. So, it cannot be within this portion. That is one thing very clear. Now, here we have ln x also. So, this is because of the first one. Second, as far as ln x is concerned, I mean, here what we notice that x is greater than 0. So, if you combine both, if you combine both, that means that x has to be greater than square root 3. Do you agree with me? Correct? So, the final restriction for us is that x is greater than square root 3. Now, let us see how to solve the equation. So, we have ln x square minus 3 equals to ln 2 plus ln x. Let's bring terms with x on the left side. So, we get ln x square minus 3 minus ln x equals to ln 2. Now, applying the properties of natural logs or logarithms, we get ln, they get divided, right? So, we get x square minus 3 over x is equal to ln 2. So, so from here, it is very clear that the expression in the bracket, which is x square minus 3 over x, should be equal to 2. Perfect. Now, we need to solve this particular equation. So, the equation here is x squared minus 3 equals to cross multiply. You get 2x. So, let's take it to the right side and then solve. Bringing them together gives us x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. You could factor this um, x minus 2 times x plus 1. Uh, So, when you, sorry, uh, minus 3, 
When you multiply minus 3 and 1, you get minus 3 as the product. And when you add them, you get minus 2, right? So that gives you a solution, x equals to 3. And this gives you a solution that x equals to minus 1. Now, x equals to minus 1 is not valid. So ignore this, right? So ignore this one. But this is valid since it is greater than square root 3, correct? So we do get a solution for this equation and our answer is x equals to 3. So I hope uh, the methods which we have adopted to solve these equations is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.